We are on the way to close on our house. You excited? Yeah. It just is such a big goal. It's such a big dream that it almost just doesn't quite feel real. We're homeowners. I'm just gonna enjoy the night with my family. Our first night in our first house. Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today's vlog is the long-awaited moving vlog. We are two days away from closing on our house, which is so exciting. I feel like this process has been so drawn out and it has not felt real really until we started packing and now it feels so exciting. So while I was at Pilates this morning, Jake came, built a bunch of boxes and we kind of made a game plan of how we're gonna go about packing. Jake is in charge of the kitchen. I'm in charge of the bathroom. We have a whole system because this is our fourth move together. So we kind of know what we need how long everything's gonna take us, what takes the longest. The kitchen is definitely one of the biggest jobs and same with the bathroom. I also wanna fill you guys in on this week because this week has been a very, very stressful week leading up to the close on our house, which we were warned about, which I'm very grateful for. I had a lot of patience and then just people in our lives warn us that leading up to close is very scary and very stressful and not to panic. And so I think it was on Wednesday, our lender sent us both me and jake huge documents of all of the stuff that they needed like we probably both had to send in like 10 plus things and i had already had it on my to-do list to call our lender and ask about the closing money and now everybody's closing is going to be very different but our lender when we purchased our house told us that we would have to send our closing money in i think they said what like 10 to 14 days before yeah they wanted everything in the escrow account 10 days before 10 days before and so on wednesday we were less than a week away and so i had it on my to-do list to call the lender and just ask like hey we haven't gotten any instructions on sending our closing money yet and obviously you want that money sent because we want our house and so anyways i had a question about some of the stuff she was asking me for and at the end of the phone call i asked her it's like yeah when are we supposed to send that closing money we just want to make sure it gets to you on time she said to me that we should have already sent it and we should have already had instructions which we did not. And so it was just a very stressful like 12 hours of getting them that money because transferring large lump sums of money takes time. It took one full business day. So then they got their money, they got all of their documents. Then on Friday, we got final approval that everything with our loan was done and we were set to close, which is so exciting and such a good feeling. But I'm sharing this more so that if you are in escrow with the house or if you are coming up on your closing, just know that it's very, very, very normal for the last week to be very stressful. From my perception, and I don't do anything with loans, but it, what it feels like as the buyer, feels like they kind of just forget about you until a week before, and then they're like, oh my gosh, we need all of this stuff, and like we need to put pressure on them because we want the clothes to happen. And I've kind of heard that from other people in our lives that it's almost like they put the pressure on you because they didn't do their job. Kind of the vibe I got. Um, but you know what, it all worked out. Everything is totally fine. They got their money, the loan is ready. And now all we have to do is pack. So today is gonna be our big packing day. We originally wanted to start packing on Saturday. And then on Friday, we actually got rid of our TV stand and we packed the stuff in there and we realized like we do not need three days to pack. We will be fully packed in just a couple of hours. So we pivoted and we started packing today. So today is gonna be a big packing day. Tomorrow we're basically gonna be sitting in an empty apartment waiting for the movers. They are coming between three and four. We will have them for two hours and then we'll sleep in our apartment and then tuesday we go close and we move into our house which is so 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 exciting yeah we're gonna take you through the packing process i'm very excited packing is just so easy for me and jake i know a lot of people get like very overwhelmed and very stressed out by it and we were talking about it yesterday and i think this is my seventh move since i graduated let me think or actually no this is gonna be my eighth move here's me go and jake you said this is your 12th 12th move if you count the two times out my parents. Okay. So Never yeah, mind. we've done a lot of moving and so it's really not that stressful for us. What's really interesting is Miko is the relaxed cat. He doesn't care about anything, but he is definitely stressed out. Luca is our stressed out cat and he is like so happy. He's zooming around, running around. He's so excited. Definitely not what we were expecting, but it's been fun to kind of see their thoughts on it. We are gonna get to the packing and I will take you along as much as possible. I'm gonna try and just be very present in the moment. So we'll see what we get for this vlog, but you'll see our house in this vlog, which is so exciting. We'll be no hard goodbyes, thank God we're 
actually don't like about our apartment or didn't like about our apartment is our doors are glass which definitely makes the space feel more open as you can see jake is peeling off a little bit right there um and so jake came up with this solution where we got this white what is this stuff like a sticker it's like automotive vinyl okay. car wrap which made it so that if someone was sleeping and someone else was you know in the kitchen you wouldn't be able to see the light but now we are tasked with the job of taking this off without breaking the glass that's what we're up to right now. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel. Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got too high. But I can see how bright that is coming into our room, which is nice because it makes an apartment feel brighter and lighter, just not ideal when you have different schedules or different things going on. But it came off without any damage, that's amazing. Okay, Jake said he has the perfect system for wrapping the cup, so here's a little tutorial if you're moving soon. Okay, you roll, you got a line of tape here. Oh yeah, he's got a little production line of tape over here. Push the top in, roll up the bottom. Stick one there, repeat. Done. And he has that whole cabinet over there to do. Out of what, 10 moves, I've never broken a glass. Yeah, we've never broken anything. We've never lost anything. That is a flex. I guess no one's to play, nobody crossed the line. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got too high But I remember days of wonder we Bathroom is coming along perfectly. Something I wanted to share with you guys. We always buy these whenever we move out of our apartments. This is our first time getting this specific one. This is the original Erase a Hole. Fills holes and cracks in plaster, drywall, and wood. So, so easy to get rid of your little nail holes. A lot of apartments will charge you if you don't cover those. So let me show you how good this thing is. It's literally so easy and so fast. So you just take it, rub it a little bit, done. We are ready for a break. We are running out of steam. It is currently three o'clock. We started seriously packing around 11 and I would say we're like 75% done, which is amazing. I did a ton of stuff in the bathroom. The bathroom is fully done. The kitchen is almost done. We ran out of bubble wrap though and we have a couple things that we still need to wrap up because we don't want these to break. We also need to change a shower head in the bathroom and we need some tape to do that. But here is all of the box progress. These are extra boxes. Honestly, we're probably going to have some leftover boxes, but as you guys know, Maggie is moving so we can gift those to her and her husband. We took everything off of the wall in here. We are not going to unpack our nightstands or our dresser. We will We'll pack up these towels or sorry these blankets take the tv off of the wall so those will be two other things that we'll need to do take off the curtains off the wall and then we still need to do our closet other than that we're getting really close let me show you the progress on the bathroom i have a pretty structured plan when it comes to the bathroom that i do every time we move so let me show you in this box here i have all of my makeup and i will be doing makeup the next couple days just because i want to take some photos some videos so it feels like you know important to have closing day photos that i love so i have some makeup up here i did a deep clean of everything in here so i just have a couple of products that we'll need until we move deep cleaned everything and then again we'll have to take this shower head off and put the other shower head back on we got those all off and then in here this is just products that i'll still need until we move but everything else is fully cleaned out i deep cleaned all of the drawers also this is the drawer that i had my makeup in and this is why I'm so excited to have a vanity because this space is so tiny. And then I cleaned out, excuse me, Miko, look out, baby. Cleaned out under here. 
he's he wants to explore and then this is all cleaned out i do have my dyson just in case we need to use it for anything it's actually come in such handy with like getting stickers off things and all of that extra little toilet paper and then just a couple other toiletries that we need but this is all like wiped down deep cleaned how they want it i cleaned these lights off i cleaned the mirror deep cleaned the, all of this and then i also deep cleaned this vent. We are making really, really good progress. We also will need to do a deep clean of the floors. Oh, you can also see this door too has that clear glass stuff. And honestly, they're impossible to clean. I have tried like all different cleaners and it just gets super streaky and ugly. So I'm very excited to not have those doors anymore. It also is kind of a lack of privacy when you're in the bathroom because you can kind of see through it. But we are making really, really good progress. I am getting so excited. I'm also very tired. I think I need to eat something, but we've just been so go, 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 go. I FaceTimed Alyssa the entire time I was packing and that was just so nice. It was such a good, distraction life hack facetime one of your friends while you're packing so you can just like chat while you're doing it okay we're gonna run to target and then we're gonna finish things off and then tomorrow we're literally gonna have nothing to do other than get the u-haul and load up the u-haul which would be kind of nice like to stagger things so we're not like completely exhausted you know we just got back from target so i figured i would show you guys what we got we did get a pack of waters. Those are in the fridge just for the movers, for our parents, for everybody coming to help us just in case they're thirsty. We also saw these cute little fall towels, little pumpkin, then orange. This will obviously be for the new house, so we'll just pack those right away. We got some utensils. This is everything you need, and this was like five bucks. And there's 72, 24 of each, which will just be perfect for like quick, easy meals. That way we can finish packing up most of our kitchen. And then we also got paper plates. I don't know that me and Jake have ever bought paper plates until now, but again, we'll just make packing, moving, eating very easy. Now we are kind of burnt out. We're a little bit tired. So we're taking kind of a break, kind of not a break. I'm packing up blankets, getting stuff out of the closet, finishing up laundry. We have the last load going right now. Jake is meal prepping up some spaghetti for us so that we have meals. We can eat some dinner. I feel like we might just need some food to recharge. I'm also watching a little bit of YouTube. It's been a busy day, but we are kind of wrapping things up, which feels really good. We also got some cash for the movers so that we have money to tip them tomorrow. We are back to packing and Miko is making himself cozy in a box full of blankets. <laughs> He's so curious about everything that we're doing. What do you think of your first move, Mr. Miko? day two of the packing process. Miko is so curious. He also loves to be underneath things and like cozied up. So he's just hanging out in his carrier watching me. Oh my gosh, I think I'm shaking. It's because I got one of these this morning. Iced grande pumpkin cream chai. So delicious, but I had this before I ate and now I'm not hungry. Big reason why I never have caffeine first. Now I feel kind of miserable. It's very chaotic right now. Let me show you. I just wrapped up all of our clothes. This is the way that we always do it. We will cut a hole in a garbage bag, put the hangers through, and then tie it on the bottom so that we can just hang these up in the moving truck and then just put them directly into our closet. So the closet is basically done. This was like my little station. Luca loves sleeping here, so I need to get this moved out there. We have the carriers. I'm gonna do a deep clean of the baseboards and the floors. We have more clothes here. A couple of cleaning things here. Our Dyson is still hung up there. Our laundry basket, Jake's work bags. There's a load of towels in the dryer, so I need to take those out. We ran out of boxes in our apartment, so we need to run down to our parking spot and grab a couple more so then I can pack that stuff. Our bedroom is pure chaos. Jake took off the TV. We took down the curtains. We need to deep clean this room. I cleaned all of the vents and everything that I could. We mostly just need to do the baseboards and the trim. Hello, good official 
morning. We are less than 24 hours out and closing on our house and I kind of just wanted to talk you through what we've been up to, how we are feeling. I thought I would be more excited than I am but truthfully I just feel very anxious and very stressed and very tired and very hungry and very sore. The end of last night my lower back and my feet were in so much pain from packing I think from like bending over and cleaning and packing and all the things, I was just so beat last night. But I'm so grateful because we finished packing around like seven and then we just relaxed for the rest of the night. And then this morning we both decided let's sleep in a little bit and let's not go to the gym. Let's just like have a little bit more of a chill morning, which was really, really nice because we're gonna need as much sleep as we can get. I also just could not sleep last night. My brain just could not turn off so i'm definitely not feeling my best and the other mistake i made is i had jake grab me a coffee while he was out this morning and i just feel so miserable because i didn't eat before and i thought i would be fine and now i just have no appetite i'm very shaky very jittery even more stressed out but i'm going to take a pause now and make some breakfast so that i can at least get some energy in my body our lender just called which is so great and he kind of just talked to me through like what's gonna happen tomorrow what to look for in the morning a couple things that we need to do today before just signatures and things a lot of our clothes is going to be done electronically which is so amazing which will make tomorrow just that much smoother it is currently 10 a.m and we just have a couple things left to do we need to pack a couple more boxes we need to patch some holes from where our tv was hung a little bit more cleaning i think that's why i'm so exhausted is not only did we pack 90 percent of our apartment yesterday we did all of the deep cleaning like the oven the fridge the baseboards the vents like everything has been like deep 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 cleaned the washing machine the dryer like everything and so i'm just so tired and i'm really really hoping that in the two hours that i hired the movers they can do most of it I'm like dang i should have just done the four hours and just like paid the money because now that we're getting there i'm like oh dang like i am just so tired but hopefully some food will help and maybe once we get the u-haul like the excitement will kick in i don't know i just i've said this like the entire home buying process is for some reason i just have my heart so guarded where it just is such a big goal and such a big dream that it almost just doesn't quite feel real i don't know i've lived in an apartment for over 10 years i have moved from apartment to apartment to apartment and i don't know something about the fact that i'm going to own a home tomorrow just doesn't feel real it's like hard to get too excited because i'm just so like there's no way that's real there's no way that we accomplish that goal you know it's just this really weird feeling i also think that's why i haven't been buying much stuff for our house is because i'm like i don't know i just want to wait i just want to wait i don't know so hopefully tomorrow it will like fully sink in of like oh my gosh we have our house i've been told from a lot of people that once you get the keys it will feel that way and once you're like in the home and your first night there last night was our last night in the apartment with the cats which is so crazy their last night in an apartment and then today we're gonna bring them to my mom's before the movers get here just so they can be nice and comfortable and like safe and not overly stressed they've been honestly doing really really well with all of the packing miko is very curious about everything that we're doing which is really cute luca's kind of just chilling which is so opposite of what i thought they would be doing but yeah we'll just go drop them at my mom's so they're nice and comfortable and safe and then tomorrow after we unload and we like get settled we'll go pick them up and bring them to the house and i'm just so excited for that moment like seeing them in a house neither of them has ever done stairs either before so i'm so excited to see them like run up and down the stairs i will update you as we continue today i forgot my camera but we just picked up our u-haul the lady was so nice everything went so smooth if you've rented a u-haul before you know that sometimes the reservations don't go as smoothly as possible jake is driving that home we have a couple things left to do and we are done at least for today. I have quite the update for you guys. We have finished packing. The movers called, they're gonna be here at three. It is currently like 2.20-ish. It has been quite the day. We had to send the cats off with my mom because they were just getting into everything. So she came and picked them up, which was just so helpful. So let me show you what we are working with. Okay, so here is all of our stuff. 
We have it all stacked up for the movers. Here's our couch. My mom just got a new couch, so we were able to wrap ours with her plastic, which is amazing because I would hate for a couch to get stained. And then here's the bedroom. We kind of have a couple different piles going on. So this stuff we need for tonight. TV, we're gonna put in a car just to be safer. Nightstand, our box spring. So always get these bags from U-Haul. That just prevents anything from getting on it. So we just stuff some pillows in there. And then we're gonna keep our mattress, mirror, my iMac and a couple Dyson items. We're gonna throw those in the car. Movers are gonna take this. We patched up all of the holes. We did all of the deep cleaning. We just need to do a really deep clean of the floors, which we'll do once they get stuff out. And then here's the closet. We have all of our clothes ready. I just realized we should probably move these shoes out there as well. A couple cleaning items. And then back here, more clothes. And then again, we're gonna do a nice deep clean on the floors later, but we are ready for the movers to come. And just like that, everything is completely moved out of our apartment. It is time for an update. I have been MIA kind of all day. And I'll be so honest with you, we kind of burnt ourselves out yesterday. We woke up just so tired and exhausted this morning and just feeling like very overwhelmed and anxious and stressed. Once the movers got here, all of that dissipated. We hired them for two hours. I didn't know if that would be enough time, but I didn't want to do four hours just for cost within two hours every single thing in our apartment was out here they were super kind super friendly super super hard working like oh my gosh that was literally the best 200 dollars i have ever spent in my entire life i cannot believe how much that just reduced our stress we were also able to just do some cleaning and stuff while they were moving our stuff. At one point I said to the guy, I was like, I feel so bad just like standing here. He's like, no, please just like enjoy the show. He was like, we encourage people to just relax. I could tell whenever I would talk to him or anything, it was just like kind of getting into his groove. They had such a system down of like a rotating circle. They were just so fast, so efficient. So if you're considering hiring movers, I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Make sure you check the reviews. I just read the reviews and they were all incredible and then that's why I ended up booking them. And in the middle of them being here, I was thinking to myself like how amazing would this be to have them tomorrow at our house? So I called and they were able to get us in tomorrow right after we're finished closing, which is so amazing. And now I just feel even more excited because tomorrow we'll be able to just like unpack. We're gonna have some family come over. We'll be able to have lunch with everyone, get all of the things set up like our alarm, all of the apps for like thermostat, our locks, like all of that. So anyways, feeling really, really good about all of that. Everything is loaded up. They did such a good job of loading our stuff into the U-Haul too. It's like perfectly organized in there. So now we're gonna make some dinner. It's only six o'clock. So we have like the whole evening to just rest, relax. We literally have our mattress in here and a couple of kitchen things and that's it. So we're gonna make some air fryer dinner and watch some YouTube and just hang out. We might go see the cats, we might not. We're kind of like, mm, kind of tired. So we'll see what we get up to. It is closing day. The apartment is fully empty. We just loaded up the last stuff. We're gonna go to my mom's and have some breakfast and then we're leaving to go sign our closing papers. How you feeling? We are on the way to close on our house. You excited? No. We're so close. We're gonna get there nice and early, have time to park. Two type A people going to close on our house when they tell us not to be late. We will be there 15 minutes early and we will wait in the car. We're going in our house for the first time. <gasps> oh, it smells good. Oh my goodness. We're just in our house. video that we made once when our house was studs and then once right before they put in the carpet. You guys can get the behind the scenes. We have made it into our house. We just took a bunch of photos, videos, all of that for the content in case we decide to change things. There's only one time we can do that. 
but we want to talk a little bit about closing because oh my gosh was that so easy it took a, it was like 12 minutes yeah it was so fast we had to sign a few things and the lady was great she like very quickly explained everything you know not like in a boring way she's like hey this is what this is for sign here great and then we went home we got our u-haul cars came here to our house and on the way here the movers actually called and were like hey we're ready whenever you are so they're gonna be here in 15 minutes which is amazing because we've been here for like five minutes so far mm -hmm. so things are just gonna happen really really fast today how are you feeling excited yeah does it feel like our house now no <laughs> i think our stuff needs to be in it the more stuff we have in it the more i'll be like yeah. all right like this is ours yeah i'm just i'm happy with the finishes the floors, the floors. are so beautiful even like the barstool lights i like yeah yeah, yeah i'm so excited yeah and i think we do will be to enhance the space yes everything is i mean it's perfect it's a perfect new construction everything is perfect and it's beautiful and it's nice and bright like living in an apartment only having one wall of windows it's so nice to have so many windows we were able to get everything out of our apartment and we were able to fully deep clean it so all we need to do is go back tonight and get our cats from my mom's house so super easy we want them to just come once our stuff is in here and once the movers have left the family has left so that they're not too overwhelmed with you know just all of the chaos of it all but yeah it's gonna be unpack central now and i'm so grateful we hired movers because we had like three loads of stuff we needed to do this morning and oh my gosh it was exhausting mm -hmm. and i'm just so grateful to have people that are able to help us because it will just make today that much more enjoyable we can unpack we can enjoy time with our family as opposed to being exhausted also last night, again, I slept like zero. I could not sleep. My brain was just thinking, 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 thinking. So maybe tonight will be my night. Mm. Anything else? No. Okay. We're homeowners. Fall. Yeah, you put them both. You need to cut that hanging string. I look into your eyes, I see we ride on time. I guess no one's to play, nobody crossed the line. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel. Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got to. I have plates and bowls here. I spent a ton of time on this drawer, like organizing all of the things. I'm making us a junk drawer here. I also am making us a little cat drawer, which is so nice. Like all the filters for their water fountains, their food dishes. I'm thinking treats and things can go in here too for them. Okay, lunch is here. What pizza is this? Pizza this and mushroom. Mushroom. Bunch of yummy pizzas, bunch of desserts. Pizza Luce, if you're in Minnesota, this is amazing. I don't know if this is in other places. They went all out. I'm so excited to eat. My mom also brought us these beautiful flowers. Our parents came, they brought us lunch, which was so delicious. We got pizza luce, we had a bunch of pizza. They got a ton of desserts to sample, which I know you guys saw. So they hung out then for a couple hours and helped us unpack and honestly having help was so 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 nice. It was so fun. Me and the moms did the closet we like hung everything we got it all just beautiful it's also funny because i'm like still in apartment mindset where i'm like oh like all of this needs to be stacked and they were like actually you have room like you don't need to stack everything i'm like oh we have space we literally have a coat closet so brought all the coats down jake got our alarm system set up he got our wi-fi set up he just got so much set up with his dad which was just so so nice to like have them here it was so wholesome but now we are ready to go get our kittens and bring them home we're pretty sure that everything is cat safe we've just been looking because of luca will get into everything we're gonna also get rid of all of this garbage this is just like packing stuff and like i said maggie is moving very soon so we have all of the boxes for her for her house which is so nice because it can save her some money are you guys ready to see your house oh my gosh Be free. luca immediately went on the stairs i look into your eyes i see we're out of time Oh my gosh! How do you know how to do these? Oh my gosh! I guess we couldn't see somehow we couldn't feel. What's all this space? Maybe we're 
What's all this space? What do you think? You giving yourself a tour? Where's your brother? He doesn't have to do it. Nico. Come here, baby. <laughs> Looks chatting up a storm. This is where you live now. <laughs> what do you think? Come here. Come here. You hear your brother? You have to go up those stairs to see him. Come on. He's a little unsure about the stairs, huh? He's stretching out. Oh, Luca. Are you so happy? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You have carpet. You have space. Come here, Miko. That's a good boy. Come here. Oh my goodness. We have gotten to the point where it officially feels like our house, our home. Having both of our cats here is the moment we were both looking forward to it the most. And it officially feels like our house. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I will see you guys in the next one. There will be tons of unpacking, organizing, all of the things. Because I know I didn't show you a ton of that in this vlog. But I promise it's coming. I'm just going to enjoy the night with my family. Our first night in our first house. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. I feel awkward to do it in front of you. Ow, ow, oh my god, ow. Uh, well.